Well, hello everyone. I thought for this week's midweek video announcement that I would make sure that I am socially distanced from all of you. As you can see, the parking lot has not yet been paved. However, we have signed now with a new contractor and we hope to have this work completed by mid-September. I also particularly wanted to show you the parking lot today to remind you that we are going to have a mini sort of service in our parking lot on Sunday night, August 30th at 6 p.m. This is not a regular worship service, but an opportunity to come, stay in your cars, and be a part of a service that offers a sacrament of Holy Communion. This service will probably last less than a half an hour. It's sort of a Vesper drive-in service. What will happen is that as you come into the parking lot, you will drive up to the church, you will receive the elements for communion, and then drive to a parking space. You will then tune to a particular channel on the FM radio, as we will have an FM transmitter. And then once everybody is sort of set in their place, I will begin a brief devotional service that will end with celebrating the sacrament of Holy Communion to all of us at once while being in our cars. And so that people can have the sacrament who do not yet feel comfortable coming to an in-person worship service. Of course, we will need to get the sacrament items to you, and we will do that as you come into the parking lot. You'll drive up, we'll hand those to you or pass them to you in some way that is safe, as we will prepare those in a safe way as possible as well. Of course, we will need you to RSVP so that we know how many will be coming and make proper preparations. We are going to make that deadline the same as the deadline for that upcoming worship for that Sunday. So the deadline for the parking lot Vesper service will be Thursday, August 27th at noon. Thursday, August 27th, please RSVP um, how many in your car will be attending that service. Greatly appreciate your cooperation. And of course, as always, in every weekly announcement, we are reminding you that if you plan to attend the in-person worship in the sanctuary on Sunday mornings at 9.30, please RSVP by Thursday uh, noon prior to that Sunday. Throughout the month of September, as we enter into fall, we will continue to have one service only at 9.30 a.m. Of course, this time of the year, we do resume a lot of activities, and of course, with the pandemic, that is all different. The first thing I wanted to address is Sunday School. In our upcoming September Insight, there will be more details about that. And of course, this is always a fluid situation, and so things could always change even from this announcement as well. We will not have adult Sunday School class until the last Sunday in September. On that day, I will be beginning a new education opportunity, studying the book of the Acts of the Apostles. This adult class will take place in the fellowship hall immediately following our 930 worship service. So you're invited to attend this in person. We will spread out socially distanced way and I will teach on this book of the Bible. I will also record this session and hope to upload it uh, that next week so that people can participate in it as well. Our high school youth leader, Paul Travigiani, will be touching base with high school about potential activities that are safe. With them going back to school, everything is sort of up in the air to see how that will play out. For confirmation age youth, I will be in contact with the parents about how we are going to proceed with confirmation this school year. For elementary age 
children, uh, teachers, and people involved in education will probably be in touch with you about um, how that may go virtually. Uh, but we are not in a rush to do that because we're sort of following the uh, lead of the schools and how that plays out. But we do have plans to offer something at least virtually. And for preschool age children, we at this point are not going to be offering anything because to do so in person they would not be able to wear a mask or honor that distance or um, probably sit still by the TV to participate in something else. So of course this is all a work in progress. We ask your patience and cooperation as we together continue to explore this new area with these times. In the meantime, please stay healthy, wear that mask, and take care, dear church.